Hey guys, public warnings here again. Today I wanted to share with you a dream that the Lord gave me, not last night, but the night before. And um, I haven't really been given the full revelation of it yet. Um, maybe it'll speak to to you, the viewers, in some in some way. Uh, maybe you'll get more of a revelation on it than I have currently. Um, but what I'll do is I'll just uh, explain everything that I saw in the dream as best as I can from start to finish and then give my thoughts on it, I guess. And, and uh, basically what the Lord's been... I feel that the, the Holy Spirit's been saying to me on, on this dream that I had. Um, so basically the dream from the other night uh, started with, I was in my, I was at my grandparents' house, um, and in the past, uh, my sister and I would go to our grandparents' house, and my grandpa would usually tuck us in and give us, like, the weather update on what the weather was going to be like, or so forth and so on. And in this dream, I, it was like that scenario. I was, I was in my grandparents' house, my grandpa was getting ready to tuck me in, and he mentioned that on the news there was, that they had said that many people have seen or spotted an aurora borealis over our state. Um, which I knew in my dream that if there was an aurora borealis seen where in an area where it's not usually seen that's a very bad sign that something um, could go very wrong I guess and um, let's see and then after that um, I, I began to see that it had something, that something uh, very big, a very big event was coming. And in my dream, it was like I heard from the Holy Spirit that it was like within a month's time. Now I'm not, I'm not putting a time on this at all, so I want to make that very clear. Um, but I will say my thoughts on that timing in particular uh, once I'm done telling you the dream or explaining the dream to you but yes I saw like a, a very huge world type event was coming like within a month's time in the dream after the uh, occurrence of the aurora borealis that was seen in the sky and I also saw that it had something to do with the pole shift I, and, and I was shown the pole shift I was shown that it that it was continually shifting and I, it was like I was seeing it even shifting to the uh, like towards the equator as far as the equator <laughs> and um, but I think generally the meaning of that part was was just to show me that the pole shift was moving rapidly <coughs> excuse me um, now dealing with this big worldly event that I that I saw in the spirit it was basically shown to me that the uh, it's I don't know how to explain into I, I don't know how to put into words the the terrible day of the Lord but it's basically dealing with that. It's the shaking of the entire earth and 
and the heavens. Now, when this, when this occurs in our physical and spiritual realm, the word's very clear that it's not going to be a light shaking. And the Lord was making that very clear in my dream, is that this event is not going to be what people might think it's going to be. It's, it's going to be a disastrous event. It's, um, in my dream I was also shown something what looked like a very large mass in the sky passing by earth and I don't know if it was a planet I don't know if it was a comet I don't know what it was I just remember seeing like in the spiritual realm that there was this mass in the sky that was going to pass earth and I understood in my spirit that it it was men's well I saw it was like I could see the scripture or hear the scripture um, dealing with the mass is that men's hearts will fail them and um, I don't have the scriptures available right now but I mean I could I could look them up later maybe post them in the description box when I have time but but yeah it was it was basically like to my understanding that's that's the event that, that will cause men's hearts to fail them is this you know, seeing seeing this large mass in the sky, or or it could have something to do with you know seeing these events or going through these events that are to take place upon the earth. Um, the word of God says the the earth will reel to and fro like a drunkard. Every island will be moved out of its place. I mean, you got to think that you got to really get a grip on what type of event could cause these things to happen it's not going to be a light event and then it's over this is going to be a huge event that the world's never gone through before uh, in my dream I saw it was like I knew I didn't really see deaths happening but I knew in the spirit that mm, billions of people are going to die through this um, a lot of people are not going to make it through this event and uh, uh, <laughs> all I can say is the Lord was really putting it on my heart that he is coming soon and dealing with the month time that I was shown in my dream I don't I'm not putting a time limit on this I'm not saying like it's gonna happen within 30 days from now I'm not saying that what I am saying is that the Lord was showing me basically from that perspective in the dream was that the time is at hand there's not much time left to repent to get right and we really need to be taking this Hit our walk with him very seriously right now especially because he's he's just telling me right even right now at this minute like I'm just getting confirmation right now to to get this out there that he is coming soon we need to get right with him and stop playing around with sin and stop compromising with sin we, we just need to get right with him forsake it this is a very very big dream that he gave me last night and I really feel it's he's putting it on me to get get out to you whoever it is that's listening um, just know that the Lord is there with you he's there speaking to you through this message and through this dream that that he's trying to show you something um, he wants you to know that he's there he wants the people to know his people he wants you to know that it's going to rain on the just and the unjust however just stay on the rock draw nigh unto him and he will protect you through it and you will make it now not all of us are gonna make it 
but that's just our time to be with him and we gotta look at it that way you know maybe I mean it's probably better to go in that way than to you know if we were to go some other way but basically yes the message from this dream is that his day the Lord's day of when the earth shakes and the heavens literally shake it's physical and it's supernatural and it's not going to be a light event it's going to be the terrible day of the Lord guys and um, there's just no way around it that's just how it is and it's because of the sins of the earth have reached heaven the sins have the sins of this world are so much and so rampant that this earth is going to shake and uh, we need to be prepared for the coming of the Lord we need to be getting our garments ready now while there's still time and uh, I think the Lord was also showing me in a way like it's it's sooner than people think his coming and a lot of people are are going to be caught off guard like the word says and um, the Lord I haven't really received a dream revelation from the Lord in a long while um, but I'm just praising him and thanking him for speaking to me again in this dream it really humbled me it really opened my heart to just people all over the world it's like I have a, no, a new kind of love for just everybody and um, my prayer is that this message speaks to you in a way that it spoke to me and that's the, just the urgency that it, now's not the time to play around now's the time to get right with God and he's being you know he's very serious with this um, also what I wanted to let you guys know is I received confirmation immediately following this dream that I had when I woke up and when I got online and I was just going through my subscriptions on YouTube I came across Barb's video that she made um, about the earth shaking like the, the earth is literally shaking we are going through birth pangs now but when the when the actual big event takes place it'll be literally like the birth like going through the actual birth that a woman would go would, would go through it'll be a time of travail and and it just it really terrifies me like the day of the Lord is a terrible day and it's it, it is terrifying especially for the person who who isn't saved they don't you know if unless you're saved you'll have that protection from the Lord and believing that you'll have that protection and for those who aren't saved I want you to know that there there is hope in Christ there is protection in Christ there is healing in Christ and there's nothing to be afraid of dealing with the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth Yeshua known in the Hebrew Yehushua HaMessiah or Yahshua HaMessiah and um, 
you can call him either one. It doesn't matter. The Lord knows your heart. But yeah, you can have that salvation through him and him alone. Because we are his creation and we are the ones that he's come to die for on the cross that we might receive eternal salvation through him. And uh But yeah, you do, all you have to do is just say, "Lord, I confess and I acknowledge that I'm a sinner." And I believe that you died for me on the cross to forgive me of my sins. I believe that your blood that was shed on the cross at Calvary um, covers my sins. And I believe that you are going to do a good work in me and change me. And I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died on the cross for the remission of my sins, that I might be cleansed and may be made holy. And I accept you, and I ask you to come into my heart. That's all you have to do. That's all there is to it. All you, all you need to do is just ask him to come into your heart, believing that he is the Son of God. And you've accepted him as Lord and Savior. It's really nothing hard. It's nothing complicated. And then just get yourself a King James Version Bible. And uh, I think it's important to have the King James Version because it's one of the only... It is the only version that's basically remain, remained intact uh, the most compared to all the other scriptures or versions out there. So get yourself a King James Version Bible and just begin reading, getting to know the Lord. And he will start to reveal himself to you. And I pray that the Lord would be with you, and I pray lo that the Lord would give you prophecies, revelations, visions, dreams. I pray the Lord would reveal himself to you, would reveal his love that he has for you to you. And, yeah, when you accept him, he will protect you in that day. You will have nothing to be afraid of except you know you you'll have nothing to fear except the lord which is good to fear fear the lord because he has power to cast people either into hell or heaven and that's the truth whether you want to receive the truth or believe the lie is up to you but if you choose not to accept him, that's, that's just a lie coming from Satan. There is no in-between. And once you get to know the Lord, he will reveal that to you even more. Even if you, you know, you, you're questioning the Lord and you don't, you're not sure about accepting him as Savior yet, you can, you can talk to him. You can just ask him if you're really there, please show me, and he'll show you. He'll show you in a way that he knows you're going to pick up on. There are going to be like events in your life, coincidences in your life that are just too far out to be coincidences. They're going to be miraculous things happening in your life. And you'll really just need to sit down and ask yourself, you know, is this possible? Is, I, is there a logical explanation for this? Is there a scientific explanation for this? Or is this a, really an act of God? And God's 
God's amazing when you get to know him. He's amazing. And you really I really feel and see that people are really missing out on the just the life that God has for you. He's got a plan for every human being on this planet. But all we all he wants us to do is just accept him. That's all he needs us to do is just accept him as Lord and Savior and that's it. It's nothing complicated. It's nothing hard. But he does desire repentance of sin. But with good reason. Because everything dealing with sin is dealing with the devil. But because we are flesh and blood, we are going to fall short of his glory. And that's why Christ came to die on the cross for us. Because no matter what, we're always going to fall short of the glory of God. And that's why he had to die on the cross for us. So that we might attain that salvation through him. Because his blood spiritually cleanses us of all our sin. And he is the mediator between God and human. Through him we have salvation. Through him we have the right to enter heaven. Even though we are yet sinners. And the, the way that we make ourselves right is by washing our garments with his blood confessing our sins to him asking for his forgiveness and repenting and for those that don't know what repenting is it means turning away from our sins and you know if a lot of us have things that we're struggling with and God understands that but we need to confess that to him all we have to do is just talk to him about our situation our issue and laying it down before him and giving it to him trusting and having faith that he's the one who's going to change us because we cannot do it in ourselves if we start to try to change ourselves in our flesh we're, we're gonna fail every time but once we give it to him he can start to do that good work in us and transform us into him into his image when you receive the Lord Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, Yeshua, into your heart, He's in you. He is with you. Everywhere you go, He is not going to leave your side. And He's going to assign angels to be with you wherever you go as well. And he's going, and once you get the baptism of his Holy Spirit, which is when they dunk you under the water, and when you rise up, you rise up with Christ. Because Christ, when he died, he conquered the cross. Satan thought that he had him conquered at the cross with death. But Jesus Christ rose on the third day from the cross. He appeared to his disciples after he died on that cross. He took the key, he he also took the keys to the kingdom of heaven from Satan when he died on the cross. Satan was defeated by his blood and by his death. How was he defeated? Because Christ rose again. Death is something from the devil. But Yeshua took death away. And by doing that, he gives us eternal life in him. There's no more death in Christ. We are alive in Christ. We have the reassurance, we have the assured assurance that we, we will overcome the world through him when we die. we will be able to rise up into heaven when we die or or if there is a rapture 
will we we will be lifted up through his holy spirit when he comes for the rapture of the church and we will not see death he conquered death at the cross he conquered the grave by rising again on the third day and he's going to come back for his people soon and some people will be left behind to go through tribulation and trust me I don't want to be one of those people left behind through the tribulation but anyways um, yeah I mean there's nothing hard about it there's nothing complicated about it all you all you have to do is just accept the Lord into your heart as Lord and Savior he'll start to do a very good work in you he grew me up very very fast um, especially because time is short I believe he's doing that with his people especially now he's growing people up very very fast and um just love others unconditionally that's what he wants the most other than a relationship with him getting to know him he is he is a god of love and all he what he desires most is for people to once they accept him to just love everybody show other people his love and um and if you can get a revelation of his power and the power of the Holy Spirit you can work miracles he will work miracles through you for other people but it must be done in love and with faith and uh, you have those two you will do well miracles will happen when you pray for people when you lay hands on people you are going to see miracles that cannot be explained in worldly terms not even scientific terms because it goes beyond that it's a supernatural thing and once the supernatural manifests itself in the physical you you have no excuse but but to say or to see and recognize and understand that what just happened can't be explained physically so there must be a god you know if you've ever witnessed a miracle in your life that cannot be explained you have nothing else to convince yourself of or to confess to yourself other than there has to be some other realm that that we can't see nor touch or feel unless the Lord allows it of course which he can do but the truth of the reality is the spiritual realm is more real than this one it is there it exists and God just wants to take you in his arms and love you and take you with him because this world is a very miserable place I think of I like to think about how <laughs> I like to look forward to heaven because heaven is nothing like this world it is everything that this world is lacking and I I just I believe that there's nothing about heaven that's boring some people might think oh well heaven's boring because it doesn't have this to offer that the world has and this and this and this but I think really the truth is heaven is everything that anyone 
should be looking forward to. Every good thing is in heaven. Every good thing. Immense joy, immense love and compassion, just everything you you your heart desires to have in this world that it can't have because this world is it's it's just a mess. <laughs> but anyways, um, that's all for now. That's basically what I wanted to let you guys know is uh, the dream that I had and to let you know that the Lord loves you. He's waiting for you. And if you want to give your life to Him, just let Him have it. And, uh, and he'll take care of the rest. Anyway, God bless you all. I pray that you are protected in that great and terrible day of the Lord, which is coming. And um, I pray that he counts us worthy to escape the things that are to come upon the earth. I pray that he would go with you wherever you go. I pray that you would have breakthroughs in your life for repentance and deliverance and healing. I pray that the Lord would bless you with his gifts of the Holy Spirit and a blessing from on high sevenfold in your life and that every area of your life that you are in need that the Lord will provide in Jesus Christ's name and Yeshua Hamasidic's name. Amen.